Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Celeste, a precision platformer that has a very interesting plot through line. You know, it, it actually's got it's actually got plot. You know, it's not like one of those super meat boys or um the the end is nigh or or Super Mario Bros. No, 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 no. This is a uh, an emotional game, one filled with quality and good writing, and one which I uh, personally connected to when I was in a very low point in my life. This is a very, very nice game. Uh, well, that's that's a lot. That's a lot I can say about it. Um, uh, the climb. That is the protagonist, Madeline. Uh, I mean, this is not ink, unfortunately, but uh, we will we'll just go through, you know, the story because it's a very nice story. It's very interesting. So let us begin the climb. This is it, Madeline. It's a very cute name, Madeline. Just breathe. And why are you so nervous? Because you're gonna climb a mountain. That's at least that's what you assume the plot of the game is. So the plot of this game, well, at least the idea of this game is that you are. Ooh, jeez. Oh, it actually is there. I forget a lot, actually. Hmm. Can I do this? Okay, no. So the plot of this game is that you're gonna climb a mountain. Oh, it was RT. Okay, here. How about this? I forgot. I forgotten all the controls, so this is not a this is not a good sign. Uh, oh, I guess there isn't anything here. Okay, that's fine. So yes, the, the plot of this game is that you're climbing up a mountain, and you uh, the whole point is that you just have to get to the top, and other things happen along the way. Uh, most one of which is meeting this strange old lady. Also, it's got this cute uh, Simlish voice, which is actually less annoying than the Simlish voice. Indeed, my dear. This is the mountain trail. The mountain trail of corpses. <laughs> the ridge collapsed and I nearly died. Well, fair's fair. <laughs> wow, rude. That's not the point, you could hurt yourself though. Oh, savage burns, Madeline. Shoot yourself. But you should know. Celeste Mountain is a strange place. You might see things. Like old lady butt. Things you aren't ready to see. Man, she got really spooky there, actually. <laughs> yeah, Sim Simlish sucks. This is the best version. <laughs> and so we begin our journey on the on the heels of a laughing woman. Oh yeah, one of the best intros to a game I've had, actually. Eek! Look at this shit. Pew! I feel like. You can really tell what a game's gonna be like in the first few minutes, you know? Um, a lot of games, you know, front load, you know, the hook of the game is very important in any in, in any in any game, obviously. I, I really love that one, because even though it, it teaches you, you know, um, controls, but select save and quit, yeah, no worries. She's, oh, it's Canada. Oh, they're in Canada right now. So it teaches the controls, obviously, but it also does so in like this really interesting method. Actually, is there something down here? Oh, nope, never mind. It was just my death. So I don't know how this power works exactly. I'm not exactly certain why she gets that, you know? It's a little interesting. Okay. So, right, okay. So those strawberries actually change her ending. Though not significantly, the plot of the game stays pretty much the same. But uh, if you collect all the strawberries, you actually get like a slightly different like emotional ending, shall we say? Is a is a difference between like an ending which is very happy, an ending which is slightly less happy but still fine, you know? As it's it's more of a very completionist thing. 
Oh shit, I'm dead. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna be going for those if I... Actually, no, maybe I shouldn't. Um, I shouldn't be going for those. Because they are, they're often placed in like really hard to reach areas and I'm not the best person for that. All I need to do to get those is just um, land somewhere. Oh yes, and momentum plays an important part in this game. If you jump off here, you actually get thrown off. Like, I'm not actually pushing anything there. It just throws you off, which is, it's really good for, um, what's a, uh, ah, yes, those flying strawberries, what's a, leave you if you dash, which, you know, I don't really care about. Oh, man, I actually feel bad for not getting, I, I know I said that I'd, um, oh, I know I said I wouldn't, like, go for the strawberries, but I kind of feel bad for not trying, regardless. Meow. Is this a death area? It was a death area. Oh, I think that thing is breakable actually. Very interesting. Hey, there we go. More strawberry. Easy peasy. Which means I should probably, I should probably like just get on with the game actually. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna make a resolution to not get any more strawberries because I just want to, I just really want to, you know, show you the game and the characters and all that. And like, you know, the level design as opposed to like the actually difficult parts of this game. So these are dash extenders, so that gives you an extra dash. And hey, this is a recurring cool character. Somebody named somebody, I forget. Hello there, fellow traveler. Oh, hey. <laughs> what a killer night for a hike. I guess so. This place is so crazy. Yeah, is there some random dude out here, huh? Indeed. It is very scenic. Oh man, she's so cute though. Gosh. Also, I always thought that uh, this, in her sprite, like I keep forgetting her sprite is a hair and not like Little Red Riding Hood. Wow, that sounds pretty serious. Oh yeah, Theo. Very good. An adventurer from a far off land. Which is, you know, where is that though? <laughs> Dark backstory. Which is a little accurate actually. We can talk to him until they've got nothing else to say. Also, oh man, another thing I need to mention, first of all, the sound design is amazing. You know, you can hear the, the crackle of a fire, the, you know, the whooshing of the wind, the, the really calming music, because this is like, you know, a calm scene, you know? Yeah, this, is, this is, also there's a crash plane in the background. Maybe not the best place to be camping out. Maybe, maybe. What far off land do you hail from? Seattle. Okay, solid. <laughs> Special place. Oopsie daisy. Heck knows, my man. Probably because they nobody's here. That's how abandoning goes. Yeah, maybe because it's in the, it's in the middle of bumfuck nowhere on the top of a shitty mountain. Maybe that was it. <laughs> Cover up for what? Yeah, that's fair. This is like an actual just convo, you know? Also, they've got different like backgrounds for their aesthetics. Like he's got this like weird plat stitched sort of thing, very hipster-like, very millennial-esque, I think. Oh, of course he's a photographer. And she's got this like stone kind of crenellation thing that's kind of cracked. I wonder why. I never looked into that actually. I'm not sure why she has that. She's very like, maybe it's because she's like closed off or something. Instapix. Oh god, it's like Instagram but for weirdos. Theo understars. Oh, by the way, I think he actually has an Instagram account. I think I, I made an Instagram account just to like look at his pics. They're really nice. You should look him up, Theo understars. Shout out to my boy, Theo! You know? Heading for the summit. Oh god damn. Determination. It's like Undertale all over again. Just wait until shit hits the fan, actually. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. If he wanted. 
KBH. <laughs> Legit. Old ruins up in the beyond the city. 1800s, like D&D time, kind of. Oh my god, this conversation is actually a long one, isn't it? Huh. Uh, throw caution to the wind. YOLO. <laughs> yeah, actually, they actually synthesized him saying YOLO. Very good. That's not the best thing to say, though. All right, we've now we've completed the what's a obligatory calm plot scene. Now we shall continue on our quest. Is there something over here? Yes, indeed. I thought there was. I thought there would be like a what's a oh oh there we go. Very nice. I thought there would be like an actual map or something. I can't remember if I've just forgotten that. This game really rewards just, you know, the fastest method to something. Also, this is just a random little shack. I don't know if this is a reference at all. Okay, time for more momentum memes. Also, you can definitely get crushed between those, so be very careful. You don't want to have to do that. Yep, yep, yep. Keep forgetting how to walk, you know, it's a bit of an issue. Damn it, I know I said I wouldn't do this, but I I, I just I just I just can't help myself. Sheet! Okay, cool. Easy peasy. Is there like something up here? Oh! Whoa, there was something up here. I can't remember I've done this before. Yeah, I think not, my friend. Oh, there was just another God damn it. It was just a bunch of just a block bunch of shit. Oh god. It's a very well designed game. You know, it's it's precision platforming, but it doesn't feel unfair, right? It never feels unfair. It's just like, yeah, okay, that was, I guess I could have done that better. Nyo. <laughs> Nyo. Let's see. I just wanna, I just wanna like speed run this game. We're not, we're not like hundo percenting it. Ah, fuck. ETLC. I, 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 and also, don't don't get the wrong idea. This game is still hard, even without going for all the strawberries. Is that is that a thing? I don't care if it's a thing. Like these are all very cool strats and maneuvers that you can do. You know, just go around, jump around, be cool and shit. Do. I mean, you could do something else there, but I decided not to. Is there something up here or? Ah oh, fuck. I, it's just, my issue is that I can't tell if something is, um, you know, if it has a strawberry at the end or not. Because then I, I can't, like, just readily avoid something like that. Oh, man. Oop. Oh, it was a strawberry, goddammit. Well, since I'm here, I might as well, <laughs> might as well do that, I guess. Because I, I, I'm locked in, I can't go anywhere else. Well, I kind of cheesed that, didn't I? Or, or maybe not. I can just keep going. Very cool. Oh, fuck. That's not good. It's, it's difficult to play this and, like, also talk. Because this requires concentration. Like, don't get me wrong. It is necessary as hell. Okay, there we go. Easy peasy. Not even hard. Easy every time. There we go. Meow. Yes. Here we see the gravestone. This memorial dedicated to those who perished on the climb. Very nice. God bless. That's that's what I needed to hear. And uh, this is where the game gets starts getting weird. You know, it's not simply a puzzle platformer. There's something more going on. I'm sorry, precision platformer. I will light a lamp fire, a campfire, campfire made out of lamps, which is just a lamp with fire inside. And this burb will sit on my head for some reason. Caw! Very rude. <laughs> ah, it's cute. No worries, it's cute. You do need to rest though. You do need to rest. 
chapter complete. Oh, actually, that's good pace. I'd like to complete a chapter every episode. That'd be nice. Ah, oh, uh, yeah, so now you get to see I missed a lot of shit. And I... So, <laughs> there's a lot in this game, mind you. There are like strawberries, which you have to collect for a different ending. There are cassette tapes, which give you harder versions of levels. There are something called crystal hearts, which... Which, which which unlock extra levels or something. I've not actually gotten them yet, but they unlock something later. Yeah, so that was chapter one of Celeste. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Remember, determination will carry you to many things. Good night, sleep tight, and I will see you soon.